Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access to uh, Weekend Update Show, hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a great trading week. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the overall actions, the overall ramifications, all that good stuff that comes with, um, you know, comes with technical analysis. And, and I think a lot of people that weren't on board with technical analysis via if your only experience with um, trading is through social media, some people say, well, technical analysis, it's, it's, it's BS and all that stuff. Well, I guess, you know, I guess it was just, you know, it was just inevitable uh, and just a coincidence that stocks prices started imploding when we lost the 50 day moving average. So, but again, that's just an another time, another place uh, for a discussion. Uh, if you are uh, brand new to the channel here, guys, welcome aboard, you know, welcome aboard, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, tune in, right? We'll try to give you 15 minutes uh, each evening of unbiased technical analysis based on the market that we have uh, and not the market that we want. So let's talk about the overall view. Um, if you've been watching this broadcast just for the last month, right? You, you kind of know what happened. It was so innocent uh, and you could quickly see how the market just turns on a dime. You know, we've been hugging this massive, massive trend line above the 20 day moving average since uh, January the 11th, when when the Qs reclaimed uh, the 50-day moving average, and we had a 40% rally uh, in the market, and slowly but surely things started happening. Uh, we lost the 20-day moving average, and we started building below the 20-day moving average. And again, uh, if you are brand new to to trading or brand new to the channel, uh, the whole premise of the PS60 theory is stocks trade from supply to supply. When they start breaking down, they start trading from demand into demand. So when we started building below the 20 day moving average, that was my first video that I put out and say, Hey guys, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying to be cautious. I'm not saying to be worried, but be a little cautious, right? Usually when we start building below supply, you're probably going to get to the next demand zone. And they said, look, I, I don't want to jump, you know, put the cart in front of the horse, but this is a real possibility. And the majority of people turn around and go, it's not a big deal. Buy the dip, bro. Buy the dip. Okay, cool. So we lost the 20 day moving average. And for the next three, four days, we went sideways. And ultimately, we started getting hit into the 50 day moving average. And then all of a sudden, going from be a little bit cautious, now, hey, the 50 day moving average is real. And if it gets violated, again, looking back at December 2022, it could be a problem. Just buy the dip, bro. Cool. So here we are, right? Here we are, uh, four days later, five days later, we are building below the 50 day moving average. And unless you haven't been trading for the last four or five days, you know exactly what's been happening, okay? Stocks have been slowly liquidating, okay? And that's what it is. You've seen some incredible moves uh, to the downside. Uh, we talked about a, a handful of names, uh, the index prices, the ETF pivots, uh, Apple, we talked about, uh, you know, Apple, we talked about on Wednesday's night, night's video, you know, that's 7650, you could see what happened. Uh, Roblox, we talked about on Wednesday night's video, right below the earnings low, look what happened. DOCN, these are all great swings, you know, swings I had for two, three days. Uh, DOCN, we talked about the earnings low, this is what happened. Snapchat, we talked about the earnings low, it took six days, but finally got a dollar and change out of this thing. So, the market is slowly but surely performing technical damage below the 50 day moving average. The only way you can get bullish, right? You can get absolutely bullish is if the market starts climbing, gets exhausted, starts climbing back and reclaims the 50. And right now the 50 day moving average is somewhere around 370 on the Q. So you could tell we're 12 points away from the 50 day moving average. Now keep this in mind. This is where I always reiterate this point. 85% of 2022 was sell bias, right? The other 15% were dead cat bounds, basically days that the sellers just got tired for that specific day and the stocks that got murdered went up a dollar, went up a dollar and change. And then two days later, they turned around and started taking out the lows. That's exactly what happened 
uh, with a lot of names today. Um, you know, stocks got killed this week. Uh, this, this scoreboard is really not going to paint the picture. If you look at the indexes, uh, all three benchmarks were down uh, two plus percent. But the most important part is how they were getting liquidated. They were, it, it felt like one point, once you hit like Thursday going into Wednesday, going into Thursday, going into today, they were just throwing stocks out at any prices. And when you look at names, the biggest names that make up the mega cap world, right? Look at Tesla, right? Look at Tesla. Tesla lost the 50-day moving average. Remember, you guys, remember that video I made? Uh, guys, if Tesla takes out the 50-day moving average, it's going to have a problem. So the next day, obviously, went up three points. I had people yelling at me, oh, an idiot. Okay, the idiot. Yada, yada, yada. Here we are, right? Tesla broke down below 270. You know, stock went to 212 today. Okay, that's the power of the 50-day moving average. But you could see here, even when it was below the 50-day moving average and that trend was lower, you had you had spikes, right? You had random spikes. Random spikes ultimately to go down. Random spikes ultimately go down. And today it wasn't even spike, but at least it, it went off its lows. Uh, same thing with names, you know, like Amazon. Amazon had actually great numbers. You guys remember? Had great numbers. And look what the stock did. Again, so they're selling off not only stocks that miss their numbers, they're selling off stocks that hit their numbers. So you look at Google, for example, right? Look at Google. Google looked, you know, looked like it was holding up, holding up, holding up, and today got hit. And, you know, the only reason it got saved was is this linear regression line. So you're seeing a lot of names. And the most untouchable one, NVIDIA, who has still has earnings going into next week, finally lost its 50-day moving average. We had a nice little pivot on NVIDIA today. Our stock, if to, to its credit, definitely rallied way off uh, its lows. And now the catalyst, its earnings, I believe it's next week or the week after. Uh, I have to check the calendar. But that's kind of where we are right now. So if you watch this broadcast and turn around and said, right? You're having a different view of the market today than somebody that said, oh, wait a minute, maybe it does make a little bit of sense. Above the 50-day moving average is bullish, below the 50-day moving average is bearish, right? And kind of here we are. And again, remember, the market is not going to go down every single day. It's impossible. The worst bear markets, again, we're not calling this a bear market. I'm just using it as an example. But the worst bear markets in the world, whether it was uh, 2022, 2007, 2008, right? after 9-11, it still gave really aggressive moves to the upside. Okay, it really did. And, you know, those days, like I said in Wednesday's video, you have two choices. You can either play the dead cat balances, but that's what they are. They're dead cat balances. They're stocks that usually would go up two, three, four, five dollars $5 on um, a bullish sentiment. Now they're going up 50 cents a dollar, which is like pulling teeth. And every single down tick of the future hits the stock down a dollar. So it's not the easiest game to play. Or if you're a trend trader, and I, and I believe um, I try to instill that, you know, that, that psychology for everybody in uh, the webinar, beat the trend. Not, don't go against the trend, beat the trend. Or you could leave those days alone and see what you could get. Maybe get some rejections, maybe get a little bit of bounces, whatever the case may be, and wait for the trend to resume in that direction. Here's kind of where we start the week, right? Whether you uh, appreciated kind of uh, the, 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 the amount of respect the 50-day moving average held had before it broke, or now you just, you know, now you're just kind of in no man's land, okay? You can still, you know, you can still make positive decisions, make positive choices to kind of protect yourself going into Monday, okay? What's done is done, right? What's done is done. Uh, the NASDAQ, the Qs have literally gone from uh, 374 to 354 in six days, right? Uh, somebody's going to turn around and say, well, the market is oversold. And guys, we are up 34% for the year still. How could the market be oversold? Just think about that for a second. Take a step back and turn around and say, the market's up 34%. How can we be oversold? Doesn't make any sense, okay? Is it possible we get a you know a one or two day dead cat rally next week? Yeah, it looks like that way, right? It looks like that way. I wouldn't be surprised Monday or Tuesday, uh, we get a rally back, you know, into the five-day moving average. But that's where the five-day moving average, this is where you want to sell stocks. This is where you want to establish a, sor a short position in the five-day. As we all know, when the five-day moving average is good on the upside, right, it keeps on holding and bouncing, keeps on holding and bouncing. Well, look at the, the downside. Look at this orange line, right? Look at this orange line. Look what happens when it hits the orange line, right? Orange line sell, orange line sell, orange line sell, orange line sell. You get the point here, right? Orange line sell, orange line sell. So what we want to see next week, and you know, and again, it might take a day or two. Uh, we want to see the market rally back into the five-day 
And if it gets rejected off the five day, that's where you want to establish a position for the next leg down. Because again, until we start breaking the cycle of lower highs and lower lows, and that's exactly what we're doing, we're going to continue to build below the five day move, below the 50 day moving average. And it's very, very important to understand that. If you're holding a book, if you're holding investments, again, you don't need to be a helpless lamb, you know, you know a deer in headlights. Short some ETFs against your book. Short some, you know, uh, sh short some cues, short some spies. Do something proactive that if this sell-off, right, if this sell-off is going to prolong a week, two weeks, two, three months, who knows? We don't know. We can't see the future, right? At least your book is protected. Your money is safe, not sitting there and bleeding every single day and hoping the God of the market eventually stops going down. Eventually it will. You know, history has proven that. Uh, but it really does show you uh, the importance of technical analysis. I've been beating down the throats of anybody who would listen, the importance of technical analysis. And now you have two people kind of going into Monday. They were prepared for the 50-day breakdown uh, or short the market or the people who sat there and go, buy the dip, bro, buy the dip. And here we are. So going into Monday, look, I, I, I think we could have one or two days of two things happening. I, I think we're going to enter a stalemate come Monday or Tuesday, which basically means I think there's a shot the market attempts to rally in the next day or so. Again, the overall trend is still uh, is still down, and I'm obviously going to be looking for for names. I'll give you guys some names that I'm watching this week. Um, but I think there could be a stalemate. Some, some stocks could be up, some stocks could be down. But ultimately, what I'd like to see happen this week is for us to rally into the five-day moving average, get rejected, establish a short position there. And if we start rolling over, again, the trend uh, will continue. So we talked about a whole bunch of names this week. Q levels, Apple, Roblox, Snap. DOCN, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, whatever it is, we, we covered a lot of ground. Um, I'm going to give you guys some names that I'm watching for this week. Again, do, do they have to confirm? They don't have to confirm. Nothing has to happen. But I say in every single video, right, isn't it most important just to be prepared? And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to be prepared. So let me give you guys uh, some names. Again, they don't necessarily have to uh, confirm for uh, Monday's session. Uh, but let's talk about some names, right? Look at Disney's chart. It might be you know, a little bit later in the week. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But look how many times Disney has held the bottom channel here. Guys, take a look at this thing. Look how many times it's held the bottom channel here. Eventually, the next time through this bottom channel, Disney could start a two, three day decline if, if it gets below. Again, it's still a little bit of ways, but I'm watching Disney this week. If it starts getting below this channel here, this thing can snap here. Look at a name like FTNT. Right. And I'm, you know, I'm starting to give you guys some earnings low swings uh, that we've been doing. I, it's one of my favorite setups. Uh, I've been doing them for years. Uh, again, this week, uh, you know, with this week, we had Roblox. Uh, Snap actually started last Friday. I finally closed it out today. Uh, DOCN, I started on Wednesday. These are all earnings low. So basically, a stock blows up in earnings, goes sideways. And once it, lost, once it starts losing its earnings lows, it starts going in two, three, four day uh, decline. So let me give you guys a couple of names that I am watching uh, for this week. Look at FTNT, right? It got blown up on earnings. It went up a little bit. Now it's slowly coming down. I'm watching the earnings lows on FTNT. If this thing starts losing, you know, the, the earnings lows, uh, this thing could start a two, three, four day decline. Definitely watching that. Uh, donut, Krispy Kreme donut. Um, you know, again, same thing here. Again, it, it probably doesn't confirm in the next couple of days, but guys, set an alert. That's that's the whole point. Keep setting alerts for things. Just because they don't confirm on uh, on a specific day doesn't mean they won't in the future. I'm watching Krispy Kreme donuts as well for a potential earnings low uh, push as well. Uh, a stock like IPG, right? Everybody see the theme, right? Earnings lows. So, you know, IPG looks good as well. There's actually, you know, one, you know, one name, you know, there's a couple of names actually look good. Let me give you guys one name uh, to the upside in case we rally. Look at HR Block, right? Look at HR Block. HR Block had actually good earnings, right? It's just kind of consolidating uh, and flagging higher. You know, keep an eye on this thing. If earnings, if it starts taking out its earnings highs, what's well, the opposite of earnings lows, maybe this thing goes on a couple of day run. But it's going to be very, very tough, guys, to be long and stay long anything. Because again, no matter how strong a stock is, if 10,000 stocks are taking out lows, eventually the buyers are going to get frustrated. They're going to get jammed up and eventually they will leave and bids 
we'll leave with them. So all you guys who are uh, in the webinar, guys, again, congratulate. Great, great work this week. Great, great work this week. Um, uh, I know a lot of you guys took advantage of the last couple of days to taking advantage of the price uh, that we provided to hang out in the webinar. You kind of already see after a couple of days, the power of the pivot, pretty damn good. Um, so I look forward to working you guys as well, but make sure this weekend, guys, take a deep breath, relax, do something nice for yourself. Uh, summer is in its last, uh, last inning. Uh, you know, we, we have about seven, eight months of nasty weather ahead of us. So we have about three, four solid weeks of good weather. Be a better friend to yourself. Do something nice. Uh, make sure you enjoy life. Make sure you smile every day. Make sure you do something that's going to uplift another human being, whether it's a smile, a nice gesture, or doing something selfless, but it doesn't cost you anything for have somebody to make you feel good. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Have a stay weekend. And God's help, I'll see you all on Monday. Take care.